guys, I'm Ollie, and I'm going to talk to you all about blonde toning with a crazy color. I think we all think of crazy color as like the big, bold shades, your neons, your bright, bright vivids, but I don't think a lot of people think about you can just mix these shades together with the unsung hero of the range, which is neutral mix. Pastelize any color and really take it back to the color wheel and think about what bases make up blonde shades and create anything from the brightest whites to a creamy blonde, a golden blonde, and just create the most stunning range of natural shades. For me, another great shade in this range is Marshmallow. I think, like I just said with Neutral Mix, Marshmallow really is an unsung hero of this range. On paper, it's the palest pink shade. But for me, when it's applied onto freshly lifted hair, it, if you're used to working with like letters and numbers, to me, it comes out like a 10V or a 10 stroke six. It's got the very palest violet undertone, which just cancels out any yellow and gives you the brightest white blonde you could ever imagine seeing. And if you mix this in with the already blonde shades within the range platinum and silver, baby, you're unstoppable. So what I'm gonna do today is I have a model coming in and who is already lifted, already a bleach girly. I'm just gonna refresh that blonde and keep it really super natural and creamy. And I will show you my formulas for that. So for my blonde formula, I'm starting off with the shade Marshmallow. I've harped on about this shade so much already today. Think of this as your clean level 10. And then mixing in some silver and some platinum. Think of this as your V-tone, your stroke six shade. So now we have a bowl of 10V or like 10 stroke six, and any shade I mix in after this is gonna act as our secondary tone. I'm choosing to use Rose Gold from the Metallic range. Not only will this give us like the most stunning, iridescent shine to our blonde, but this will act as like a stroke 03 or like a G tone. So all in all, think of this toner as like a 10VG or a 1063. We're applying on clean, dry hair, taking small sections in at the roots just to make sure it's fully saturated. If you are applying this over like a balayage or some highlights, it will not do anything to your client's natural color. It'll only pick up on your freshly bleached or pre-lightened sections. We are using a very technical term called smooshing. Smooshing that color on, making sure it's fully saturated. There is such a thing as over smooshing. So if that color starts to emulsify, you've smooshed too far and you just need to reapply. We're leaving that color for 20 minutes, minimum. We're gonna be rinsing with cool water using Crazy Color's amazing Bond Restore range. This will keep the hair in tip-top condition and seal all those bonds to keep the hair in pristine shape. We're also gonna lock in some anti-bleed to make sure that color is locked and loaded and will stay in the hair for as long as possible. After standing the little wave, I am absolutely obsessed it's such a clean, shiny, glossy blonde. Definitely that creamy tone I was going for. Blonde tone with crazy color. Now you know, guys. Catch you soon.